What is up, farm hands? Bat Beats here. Welcome back to the Beat Farm. In this episode, we are going to be doing two things. One, we are going to send out the remaining children to the Dreadnought, and two, we are going to start pushing to send more food rations to the Dreadnought. So, without further ado, let's get started. Alright, last time we really pushed to get all the remaining working kids to the Dreadnought and we had to do a lot of adjustments in our working assignments which has really put a toll on our coal output so it's shrinking rapidly now. We're gonna have to make sure that I shore that up. And the other thing we're going to be doing is we're going to make sure that our food is on full time because we've got plenty of raw food that needs to be converted. So we need to balance that along with the 22 amputees who are going to be getting all of their prostheses. Hopefully we'll be adding them to the workforce as well as freeing up a whole bunch of engineers to be working in the areas of coal once we finish all the remaining research. So right now what I'm doing is macroing everything so that steel is being output at 24-7. Because we need every single piece of steel that we can get our hands on at the moment. If we don't do that, then we're in big trouble. So yeah, crazy stuff. Our discontent is gone, that's good. We need our hope to go up pretty soon too. Our wall drill. We have plenty of wood. I don't know why I do that, so we might as well just turn that off. And let's go ahead and make sure that we have everything we need distributed evenly. Hunter's hangers don't need anything. Let's see. Steam coal dumper. Do we need that? We don't really need that, but that needs. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's a waste of time. Okay, so all of these should be good right now. I don't need... Why is this on the whole time? It should be on the whole time. Okay. Yeah. I should have checked that sooner. Let's see... And what else have we got over here? We have coverage here. But do we need it? No, we do not. Yeah, I don't understand why we have that there. Everything else should be fine. At this point, we don't need heaters out there during the night. Should have seen that coming. Oh boy. Alright, so the children and we have a little less than eight days left to make sure that we get everyone out of here okay good so now people are starting to leave why do we still have one guy just sitting around oh he's doing his faith keepers thing faith keepers yeah okay all right we want to make sure that we keep spamming that We can probably shut down one of these and get them to start working in the cookhouses all the time. That would help us just a little bit. Because we do need food and steel. The name of the game is to get all of those people. There we go. Let's see what we can do here. We can do moonshine. Or soup. Although, soup does make sure uh yeah yeah if we do that we will definitely get a lot more food going to the dreadnought and we'll be doing that yeah i mean if we do that we can keep our discontent down we can balance the two so it just depends on which one i want to go with first so let's go with soup for now i know that's gonna piss everyone off at least for the time being. Yeah. Just a little bit more. I know, but we've been going, what, 
18 days of full meals, you can suck it up for a few days without it. If you gotta eat soup, you gotta eat soup. I just gotta get the output of our food a little bit more. Then once we're done, we can go back to full meals and be fine. But don't mind about it. Four more hours, should be fine. Look at all those people. 29 kids aboard, and lots of food, lots of coal, and some steel. So yay. You guys are working, 7.8, 7.8. And our people are getting prostheses, that's great. Got more and more people who are ready to work again. Wonderful. Alright, so are you guys ready to work? Should be. So get back out there. Yeah, we should be okay there now. Let's see. You guys get back over here and work during the day. That's good. And we have a reprieve here, which means I can move this down by one level. Yep, should be good. Everything should be fine now. So that definitely will save us in terms of our coal balance. And I can start working on that pretty soon. Okay, so lots more raw food coming in. I need to make sure that I've got that handled. So let's go ahead and take a look and see. There we go. Because, yeah, food rations are the name of the game right now. Food, 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 food. The steel, we are going to get a set amount of steel no matter what at this point. Every day. Because it's just going to go around the clock. And they've reached a the dreadnought. Excellent. So, let's see what we've got left. Yeah, we've only got a day left. And let's see, how many kids do we have? All right, we can get all of our kids. So let's see. We have 19 amputees and no more children. So where there's one kid left here. Here. Awesome. There's the last kid. Our last child ready to go. Okay. So that's good. And we still got, we're going to wait for another three hours before we finish that up. So yeah, the Dreadnought is ready to go. What are we going to do, just leave everyone right now? That would suck. It'd be a very sad way to end our voyage or our journey here. Everyone dies. A premature death. Okay, okay, so... We're almost done with our house redesign, and we are going to build some houses. That would be nice. Because we're going to have this thing drop down to 60, and then our generator is going to really start to fail. And we won't have much choice about that, so... Yeah, no good. Ooh, storage limit reached. So, that means I can take you and turn you off. And get you back on over here. See, yeah, put you back on over here, turn you on, yes. Yep, it should be good. Alright. Let's see, what do we want now? Healthcare insulation? That might be useful. Might be useful. Let's see. Automation integration. 40 and 25 steel. Or healthcare installation, which is 80 steel. Yeah, we're probably going to need that at some point. People are going to be dying. Lots of people will be dying. 
Uh, actually, let's just go for automation integration right now. Should be able to squeeze out just a little more from the overnight work that we have to do. Okay, and let's see. There are no available resources in range. That means you go back to working over here. So this should fix it. And I think what we can do is we can probably start backing up a little bit on the amount of food that we're making here. How are we doing in terms of that? Yeah, that is insane. We can start taking you guys down. And we are almost there. Spam another one. Still got some time here. And what happened? Why are we homeless? Where? What did I just do? That's weird. Well, we can fix that very, very shortly. Actually, we can right now. We have 21 available. Cabins are here, 500. We go provisions. 1,005. And we are done with coal, so. Yep, we're going to need to keep doing this, so. I think we should be good. Let's just send you guys out, and we saved the children. So that's good. Yay! The children are saved. All the children are aboard, and we have some vacant beds. That's good. Okay, and what do we want to do? We have a lot of food. We can make an extra 700, so that should be good enough to get us to our mark. And the coal, as long as we keep it around the same point, will be fine. Turn you off. Okay, so let's do some micromanaging here and make sure that we have everything we need. We want to keep this content low, but we don't want to keep it too low. What's going on? Ah, good. All the children are safe. Yes. That means work efficiency rises by 10%. Excellent. So good to hear that. We have no patience here. We have a couple of patients here, so that's good. Alright, so if we have no patients here, we can turn you guys off for now and take you guys somewhere else. Incredibly, we now have some idle people. Isn't that weird? That I don't know. How does that work, you know? That's good there. Got people functioning there. We might as well turn you on too. So let's turn you on. Alright, so you're a little unhappy. It'll be okay. Just turn you back down. It'll be fine. Alright. So we've got everything that we need here. We might want to just take these guys out at some point. Because there's really no point keeping them around. Well, okie dokie. And the care house. Why do we have people in care houses here? Get a prosthesis already. Everyone needs to get going in terms of. Okay, awesome. So we've got that. Do we want to do that? Do we want to just keep going? I mean, we can. I mean, how much further do we have to go? Well, it might be worth it. Yeah, it might be worth it because then for every hour that you get it, you get a better better deal on that. But only for a while though, I think we're going to get another breakdown here once the generator starts to really act up. We are going to have to dismantle our automatons with our cores because we will be needing those cores for the last cabin update. I'm hoping we can get to that. Because if we don't, that's going to be really... Pointing. 
whole point of this was to make sure that we could do this. It'd be really sad. It'd be so sad. Alright, so... Not quite yet. Not quite yet for you. Alright. There's only one at a time that people can do this. It's kind of weird. Peg Leg still hasn't gotten his. Oh, hey. I don't see McGee's name on here. That means Priscilla and McGee is fully functional. Let's check it out. Ha, ah, Priscilla and McGee. Let's check out where she is. Ah, look at that. She's got all of her limbs and a prosthetic. It looks like it's glowing. That's kind of cool. Very nice. Okay, well, I guess we should turn you back on. Alright. Meanwhile, it is time for us to switch back over. So, let's go ahead and shut you down again. And put you back over here. Let's see, what else do we have? Do we need any people here? Let's take a look at what's going on here. Yeah, we should not be needing any type of... Yeah, we should not be needing any type of heating right now from anyone anywhere. You should be off. Yeah, this should be off. Okay, good. Everyone's off. Do we want to do that right now or do we want to wait until... Because I think the generator is going to break down soon. Can't quite remember all of these things, but you know... I kind of have a guess. And when that happens, you drain a lot of your steel. Come on, hobble over there. Be fine. All right, let's get some moonshine going. Either that, or I can do righteous initiation. Get some resources. And then lower is discontent. Protector of truth is crazy, but we can do this. This might be interesting. That just recovers a little bit, I think. Well, you know what? Let's just get everybody drunk. That'll counteract anything. Because, yeah. You may get soup, but then you can have a drink with it. So, Eh, it bounces out. What's going on? Where are you? Where are you, buddy? There it goes. We're getting some people. What's going on here? Yeah, now it's at 9.1, so that's not bad. How are we doing here? Come on. Alright, we got two people going to get a prosthetic. Where's Pig Leg Paul? And he's still just hanging out? Ah. people in care houses. Alright, well pretty soon I'm hoping that we're gonna be able to do something about about this. We should probably do... Let's just do one of these. We need one for 24-7. And we might want to chop this as well, so let's do that. Why is one gravely sick? What happened here? Disposing of a corpse. 
What's going on here? Yeah, you know. We gotta stop the fight. Stop it! Be fighting. And what is going on here? Come on, come on, come on. Why are we having sick people? What is this? Why are you in palliative care? What's wrong with you? Everything is fine, you're going west. Why are you starving? What's going on here? It's really peculiar. Should not be the case. Okay, good. Keep going to get your prosthetics. Prostheses. Prostheses. Why oh, so angry? And there's one core being used over here for the wall drill. But as it stands, we don't really need any. <laughs> we don't really need any wood. So we'll be okay by taking it down. Both balances slowly starting to pull away from us. That's good. Bathe keepers. So we'll be able to manage our discontent a little longer. Why are you hungry? And why what is going on here? I know you're a faith keeper, but really? Where are okay, we need to make sure that so he's dragging a corpse around. Where are you? You're in a care house. And you're dragging a corpse around. Alright. We are done with that. Do we want to push for this? Is it worth it? I don't know if it's worth it at this point. Just go ahead and do this. I think we'll be done after this. So let's see. Let's go ahead and get back our people here and we should be fine. Not quite. Let's just keep going. Get off. Alright, get back to work over here. Keep making food. Alright, we've got a lot of people busy over here. That's really peculiar. There must be a bug or, of some sort. I mean, this guy still hasn't done anything. And we didn't have anyone die, so why is he dragging around a corpse? Uh, where is he? Okay, so he's here. I hope he's here. Yeah, that has to be some sort of bug. All right, so now we can wait a little bit longer. We'll wait three hours, Let's see what's going on here. Then we'll start shutting down some of these resource things here. Actually, we might want to hold on just a little longer. We still need more food. All right, well, let's check our infrastructure and see. Is there anything we can take down now, or is everything just ready to go? Yeah, no, I think we've taken down everything that we need to take down right now. We can equip that a little bit. Let's see. Yeah, I think we're okay here. We're gonna need to start chopping away at these lines of houses that we don't need anymore. But outside of that, we should be okay. Let's just keep going. We're gonna wait a little bit longer. What if these clippy cloppies keep walking around? What are you doing? 
Yeah, eighty percent would get us a little bit further along, so we should be okay. But at this point, it's we're just begging for the moment when you can get enough food and enough steel. But at least our automatons are full time right now. All right. I think we are done with our research at this point. So yeah. Yeah, I think we're done. Because I don't want to go through with any more of these upgrades here. It's not really worth it because we're going to be taking back those cores at some point. And that will be wasted. So yeah. I think I'm gonna call it. We're gonna be done here. So that means we can tear down all of our engineering goodies, reclaim all of it, yay, we're gonna reclaim all of our engineering goodies. And we should probably hop them all in here for now. Because I'm not really sure that it's safe to leave them alone at this point. Alright, and they're all gonna disappear just like that. Do 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 Okay, yeah. So, we're good. And guess what? Now we can put all of our food up here. All of our steel up here. And we don't need any more coal. And that's it. I think that's it for now. Although what we can do is we can start sending some of these people away. Yeah, because less people means less coal that is needed for the output here. So we might as well start shutting down more of these facilities here. What are we doing? Yeah, our coal balance isn't too bad, so we can afford to do that. Yeah, and our storage limit is reached here anyway. So let's just do that. Let's just start... Yeah, we should probably just start doing that. I'm making a calculated risk here, but... We can start by freeing up a couple of these guys here. So let's just take you guys down. Gathering post here. What is the cover? It covers that and that. Yeah, so we should be okay here. We can just take these guys offline completely. Alright. Let's take you guys offline and we'll load up some of you guys. And we have four available. Let's get you guys hopping in here. Yeah. Can we free up any more people right now? Uh, not just yet. The next transport will be full of people though. Pretty sure of it. Okay. So we've got enough people here. I think we've emptied out everyone here. Let's see, we still need, yeah, we still need more steel, still need, okay, good, yeah, so let's do it, bye-bye. Alright, so we're good there. What are we missing? We don't need this anymore, in fact, we don't need this anymore. And we're going to be deconstructing that, so there's no point in keeping that anymore either. Yeah. And yeah, we don't need you anymore either. Okay, dokie. So things are fine now. Yep, things are fine. Let's make sure that all this stuff is going to be going down, and I think we are slowly but surely making progress. 
Hey, big keepers. Our discontent's gonna go down. But we just have to wait, because there's no point in doing that just yet. Haha. <laughs> this is great. Really strange to see the process of a city getting smaller and smaller as it melts away. Come to think of it, we can probably stop with the wall drill too. You know, I've never actually looked at this animation. That's kind of neat. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know. We can leave it for now. Or not. So, we can turn it off. There's no point in having it on right now. So let's just turn it off. Okay. Free up some workers. Should be able to do that. Turn you off too. Keep faith keepers in there. You can always put another coal thumper in here. And let's pop our last engineer in here. Yeah. Alright. Well, I mean, there's really no point in doing that. Let's see how many other. Okay, so we've got two more people going, so we'll have five people left. All right, workday is over for now, but not quite yet for these guys. So two more hours. Yeah. All right, so I think we're going to be facing another breakdown pretty soon, and I think this is where we're going to cut it. Things are looking good so far right now. If you are enjoying this series, please like and subscribe and give a comment below on how you think things can be better. Click on the links to either go back to the previous episode or to go to the next episode if I have it up already. Alright, see you next time. This is Fat Beats, signing out.